Well, um, I brought the players together after the game and only had one thing to say, and that's how impressed I am of the professionalism uh, of the players to stay focused in every second of the game from the first second to the last one. Uh, I think we set the standards uh, going into this tournament, what we're about and what we want to do. Uh, it was a great opening game for us. And Seb, congratulations to you too. This was a great start to the tournament. Uh, your thoughts on Indonesia and uh, looking forward, how do you anticipate the challenge that this tournament kind of brings us along? Yeah, I think we showed the ultimate respect to Indonesia today by coming out with our best team. We um, scouted them before the game and knew they had some tricky players and we weren't going to take it lightly. This is the Asian Cup. We're here to get as far as we can in the tournament and I think that's the biggest respect you can show to your opponent. So um, after the game, we showed that you know they were very cute and we showed good respect. They showed respect to us. So for us as a team, it was a great performance and we move on. Thank you. I have my colleague Tom over here from Communications who will start off the media interaction. Sam, I know that the result is the reason that everyone is here today, but I just want to acknowledge this record that you've got today, overtaking Tim Kale. Um, what, reflecting on that achievement, what does it mean to you, especially considering, you know, only four and a half years ago, I think you had eight international goals? Yeah, obviously Tim is a legend um, in Australia, so to be even in the same conversation as him, it's an amazing honour, but any time I score for my country, it's an amazing honour, and like you said, I didn't have many, so I don't take any goal granted and um, I said after the game there's no team I'd rather do it with and it's an honour to wear the jersey for the Matildas and even big an honour to score every every game hopefully and, and like breaking a record it's amazing something I'll remember forever. Tony uh, as has been said already you went with a very strong lineup against the lowest ranked team in the tournament here today. Um, why, why did you make that decision? I know that you, you want to put your best foot forward, but you do have up to six matches in the next few weeks. So why did you go that way against Indonesia today? I think there's plenty of reason. One is an opening game and tournament is very important to set the tone for a team to get off on a good start. Uh, I've been in a similar situation before as a coach going into the tournament when you have a low ranked team in the opening game and how important it is to, to treat that team with respect, show respect to the team but also show respect to our values and our standards. The other thing we need to remember is in a national team you don't get many minutes together. Uh, Pre-camp has been very short leading into this one. We have some players coming back from different situations that actually need minutes to get up and running. But what we did do in this game is we worked very, very closely with our Triple SM team, our sports science and sports medicine team, to look at which players need to maybe progress minutes in the tournament. That's why we did all those halftime subs, because uh, we had a pre-planned if the game went where we wanted to, to not overload some of the players. And then we looked at some players that actually needed to get 90 minutes in them to get up and running. Um, so there's different reasons to it, but the number one reason is that we need that cohesion uh, between the players and get off on a good start to send some messages to ourselves and to the other ones how we're treating this tournament. Thank you coach. I'll take questions from the media now. You can drop it in the chat box over here and read them out for you. Uh, there are plenty of them which have already come in, but uh, Sam, first question is for you. How special is it to become, and you touched upon it, but how special is it to become the leading goal scorer for Australia? On Indian soil though, given you have roots over here. Yeah, it is special. I think um, I definitely thought about that before the game, how special it would be for my family that I'm in India, it's my first time being here. So even just seeing the culture um, and when we drive here, looking outside and seeing the people, everyone here has been so welcoming. Um, and I know that there's a lot of Indian fans out there that follow me. So it's special for me to break the record, but adds that little bit of, um, I guess, yeah, I guess it's a bit more special doing it here in, on Indian soil and in the Asian Cup, which is a really important tournament to me. Thank you, Sam. Uh, I have a question from Ed Jackson for Tony. Uh, congratulations on the victory, Coach. Uh, you played a bunch of experienced players today and kept people like Courtney Vine and Remy Simpson. I'm hoping I'm getting that right. Uh, on the bench, uh, was this not an ideal chance to give those players some match experience uh, in this tournament? I think you can always look at it in uh, different ways. Uh, I know there's always going to be opinion on what I'm doing. For example, when I was in the preparation mode leading into this tournament in FIFA Windows, some players questioned me that I rotated that many players and gave a lot of players minutes and, and give them 
caps and, and looked at a lot of players. Now when we're in performance mode, there's probably going to be opinion on what I do then as well. And I totally respect that. And to be honest, if I could have played all 23 players today, I would have loved to do that. But there's limited amount of subs and I then need to make some priorities. I do want to uh, make a point though in terms of, of Holly coming in and we have a debutant in the Asian Cup coming in that never been with a national team before in the senior national team environment. She break through, have a pre-camp in Dubai, she shows some really great skills and I've said that from day one, it doesn't matter if you have zero caps or hundred caps, if, if you perform in the Matilda environment you get minutes and there's no coincidence that Holly played, it's not because I want to hand out a cap to someone, it's because she earned it by performance. Thank you, Coach. Uh, the next question is for Sam. Uh, Unnati asks, uh, how big a tournament is this for you and the whole team in the lead-up to the World Cup that you guys are hosting next year? Yeah, I think um, for us as a team, other than you know the two major tournaments, the World Cup and Olympics, this is the biggest one for us. There's a trophy at stake. Um, you know, We won it back in 2010 and we haven't won it since. We've lost the two last finals. So. For us, it's really important to win the trophy, but also go into the World Cup with a lot of confidence. There's some top, top teams that go far in most of the tournaments. So um, this is right up there with the most important ones. And I know personally, there's a lot of girls in that change room that really, really want to you know, get that trophy back on home soil. Joey Lynch from The Guardian uh, has a question for you, Tony. He asks, uh, do you see this formation that you employed and the players that filled in as your best possible one heading into this tournament? Uh, for this game, yes, uh, we worked on, on two different formations, uh, our 3-4-3 and 4-3-3 and uh, throughout the last 12 months, so we have flexibility to go in and out of those different shapes. The one thing that's always going to stay the same though is the way we play. Uh, we're always going to be a high octane, high energy running team that press a lot and win the ball back and attack with a lot of numbers. We're going to be attacking minded in everything we do. So. The formation is more a tool to apply the principles, but the DNA and the, the core values of this team is always going to be the same. Uh, we did try some other stuff today as well, without going into details, that's for the opponent to scout himself, but we did look at some other flexibility in formation today, when what we can do, for, for example, when we go for a goal or, or when we're winning. So we did tweak the formation a little bit during the game today as well, and went in and out from a couple of different formations. I'll now wrap up uh, this interaction with a couple of final questions and I think because there's so many coming in, I'll just club in a couple of uh, them over there for the coach. Uh, coach comments on uh, Alana Kennedy and Emily Van Egmond's performances uh, or how do you see them shaping up your team in the rest of the tournament? Uh, well, first of all, I think both of them did what the whole team did. They were very professional and very focused. What can happen at times, especially in Alana's position as a center back, when the game looks like it looks, it could easily be that you maybe lose focus uh, and not getting involved as much. But she stayed focused, she led the back line, uh, she communicated a lot. Her pass is to open up the field for us, her long range passing is just world class. And then the other thing she adds is her aerial presence, which is, is unique. And that's why we spend a lot of time working on set plays. And she's going to be a very, very good threat for us in set plays in this tournament. EVE. What's impressive with her is her understanding of the game. She knows exactly where to be, when to be there, and connect the team like Lincoln. She's like the, the heartbeat and the tempo controller of the team, and, and she impressed me in that sense today. Thank you, Coach. The final question uh, to Sam. Uh, which goal for you stood out today, and uh, how do you want to replicate this in the one, yeah. Uh, I mean, the goal that stood out for me wasn't even my goal. It was Ivy's. I think <laughs> for something, for someone to come back out of retirement when the team needs it, and I don't know if many people know this, but it's her first goal for the national team. So it was just a cool moment to be a part of. Like, she's come back, the team needs her. She's come out of retirement, and to see her get her first goal, like, it's just amazing. And it was an amazing goal. And um, yeah, I was just really happy for her because she kind of left that stone unturned when she retired. So that one stands out for me. Thank you so much, Sam.